Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Nick Gray, and today we're back with another smartphone camera test with the all-new Honor 200 Pro, which I'm using to record right now from the main camera on the back of the phone. As I do in all these smartphone camera tests, everything you see in this video is gonna be recorded from this device. So just keep an eye on the bottom of the video to see which cameras are being used for the photos and the videos that you see. With that, let's take a look at some pictures to see how this device performs in everyday use. And this here is a look at video capture from the selfie camera on this device. As you can see in the bottom corner, this is 4K video, which is pretty impressive for a device these days, especially from a Chinese manufacturer. There's so many other devices, even within Honor's lineup, that don't offer 4K video from the selfie camera. So it's really nice to see the option here. Though we are limited to 4K 30, there's no option for 4K 60. Nonetheless, this is really good just to have that extra resolution when you need it for editing, just to pull in additional details in your shot. And this is flipped around to the main camera on the back of the phone. If you do learn to frame yourself just right, using that main sensor is always gonna be the best option. It's a lot larger, letting in a lot more light, but you also get that shallower depth of field as well, blurring out everything that's in the background, as opposed to that selfie camera that pretty much everything is in focus all the time. Let's take a quick minute to talk about the cameras on this device. What you're looking at right now is the 12 megapixel ultra wide, but then you have two 50 megapixel sensors on the back of the phone for the 50 megapixel primary camera and then the 2.5x zoom if you do wanna get in a little bit closer to your subjects. And then when you flip the phone around, you have another 50 megapixel selfie camera and all of those can record 4K video at up to 30 frames per second. But that selfie camera does also have a two megapixel depth sensor for uh, facial recognition a little bit better when you're unlocking the phone but also for those portrait shots if you want to take those with that selfie camera as well.
Well, it's a couple days later and the beach vacation is over. Unfortunately, it was a whole lot of fun, but we still have a little bit of work to do here with some low light photo and video tests. What you're looking at right now is the main camera on the back of the phone, which is always gonna be the best option when it comes to capturing video in low light situations, because I'm gonna show you right now what you can do with the selfie camera, and it's definitely not gonna be as good as this. And here we go, flipped around to the selfie camera. It is 4K video, just like the other one, but it's definitely not as good just because the sensor is so much smaller than the one on the back of the phone. If you want to have the best video possible, if you can record with the rear camera, I always suggest doing that. with low light with the ultra wide camera isn't the best on this device as you can see when we switch over to this main sensor just pulls in so much more light brightening up the scene quite a bit then let's zoom in and it gets a whole lot darker again this has a lot to do with the sensor size itself and how much light it can pull in And that's going to do it for this camera test with the Honor 200 Pro. Let me know what you think of the results in the comments below and whether or not you think this is good enough to be your daily driver for photos and videos. For more camera comparisons and other camera tests, be sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for those. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.